I was born on a farm in Meade County. My dad worked construction in Louisville, commuted 45 miles each way, and then came home and did the farm work. And I'm from a long line of farmers, all the way back as far as we can trace it. The farm girl of the 60s, Diane Medley, came to the big city up the road after graduating from Meade County High School and graduating from the University of Louisville in 1980 as class valedictorian of the School of Business and outstanding senior in accounting. That provided a clue to the success that lay ahead. But early on, Diane understood there was far more to her particular skill set than a simple affinity for numbers. I'm also a people person, though, and I also like the people piece of this. So I think that's been an advantage that I've been able to combine what people want, what they really believe in, with what the numbers are telling me, and bring those two together. Those people skills served Diane well right from the beginning of her career and made it possible for her to co-found her own firm, Chilton & Medley, less than a decade after college graduation. That in turn led to a merger that created what is now known as Mount Joy Chilton Medley, and her special touch has enabled MCM to grow into the largest CPA firm in the region. She's been a workhorse in, in doing the things that you have to do to make a firm grow, to bring on the right kind of people, to build the team that you have to build to be able to service clients that we want to service. So she, she's been able to do all the things that I felt like she would be able to do when we first started having these discussions. Upon becoming managing partner at MCM, Diane became the first woman to have this leadership position in the public accounting industry in Kentucky, and she's currently one of only four female managing partners of the top 100 firms in the United States. It's a unique combination of traits that's taken her to this level, and among the most important is her unmatched tenacity. She's a doer. If she sees a challenge that, that we face, she doesn't back up, she doesn't back off, she will take on the challenge and do what it takes. She has a great work ethic and a sense of urgency that puts her in a situation where she wants to get it done. There are limits to all of our ability to take on challenges, but she'll take on the challenges and get them taken care of. Diane is a very strong and determined person. Once she gets something in her head, you better either get on board or get out of the way because she'll get it accomplished. But no matter how determined any leader is, they'll be doomed to failure without the ability to rally their followers behind them. Luckily, that too has been one of Diane's greatest strengths. She is very collaborative. She really wants to ensure that everyone's all on the same page. While obviously here at the firm as things have grown, it's much harder to ensure that everyone gets on the same page. But her desire is truly to build a cohesive environment that everyone is in agreement the best that they possibly can. For many people, success in business is an either-or proposition where accomplishments in the boardroom often come at the expense of a satisfying home life. But just as Diane has never self-limited her business potential, she also found a way to make life as a mother work at the same time. I've been one of those people that's been able to have it all, a great family and a great career. And I'm also the personality that probably wouldn't have been satisfied with compromising either. I've got four children, one son and three daughters. Some of them are out of town, some are in town. I've asked them, I said, would you have rather that I'd stayed home and maybe focused more on what you had going on to the person? They'll say, no, you did the right thing. Clearly, Diane Medley has already achieved more than most people ever will in business, but one of her most important traits is our understanding that no matter how much you know, there's always more to be learned. The profession that we're in, you have to be um, an individual that really desires to be a continual learner. It's an important component. She really has a broad base of perspective of what she desires to learn. It's not just accounting or tax, but it's really history, leadership, um, just how people think and how they work and that is part of I think what has brought her to the position where she's as successful as she is. So what can today's young people learn from the success of a woman like Diane Medley? I think she's an example uh, and those those young people going through junior achievement are, are trying to see those that they can emulate. I think she shows especially to the young ladies in junior achievement that there's endless possibilities. We can talk about the bad things that are going on in this, this world but there are a lot of opportunities and, uh, and Diane's an example of showing those who will come behind her that if you go at it, you go at it hard, you're smart, you're capable and you, you make the effort, you can get where you want to go.
Having achieved so much, Diane Medley is a tremendous model for success, but she, better than most, understands that nothing worthwhile is ever achieved without a good deal of sacrifice. And it's her philosophy on that point that is perhaps her most important message for those who follow in her footsteps. Life's not all easy, and uh, I know that there's a saying, no pain, no gain, and all of us who are in these positions now of leadership know that firsthand because we've had pain, uh, we've taken risks, most of them turn out well, but some don't, and just being able to accept the fact that you're going to make mistakes, but just pick yourself up and keep going.